that's only because I believe that we as people say we care, say we love. Do you really love? Last night I said in, in, in the song, love. Love. Try that out. You tried everything else, try some love. If you try love, if you try love, I'm, I assure you, you get love back. Did I just say that? <laughs> Hear it? Thank you. See? And that's it. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, people are, I don't know, as you said earlier, they're selfish in a lot of ways. Well, stop being selfish. But we teach our children, don't be selfish, share your toys. You know, because if you, if you don't, This is something I wrote to my employer just briefly. It's nothing elaborate, nothing uh, you know, designed to be handed into a court system, but it goes with just the last business that was stolen, what has transpired, the people involved, and dealing with Carmen Ortez, part of it that stole the first business. It's yeah. always related to the second one that had a $5 million lawsuit. Yeah. These are the guys that both metal I was telling you about, the nuclear plant waste stuff I was dealing with. Yeah. These are the guys that I was doing all their networks and stuff at MIMT, Bush and Gore were doing. I have all the papers in the bankruptcy court that did uh, relate to this is my company. My last company. That they ended up double book stealing into my bank account locked me out. That's the uh, that's my company that I was dealing with these guys when we first found it. And actually, they're still doing a nuclear waste, Oak Ridge, Tennessee. But I had a, a lien on their nuclear plants and still they said, oh, take it off and we'll, we'll get your money back. And I but I can show you, this is what I'm going to show the attorney to this paper. Look at Carmen Ortiz. Who's she law firm? All right. 96. 95, my doctor says U.S. attorney. That's totally illegal. It's a federal crime. Mike check. Mike check. I have a little confusion because I'm going to be 
up on individual staff to talk a little bit more about the issue. But um, I just wanted to announce a direct action happened today at 12.30. We're going to have a march um, from downtown crossing to the Massachusetts State Department in protest of the Keystone XL pipeline transporting tar sands from Canada to uh, the Texas oil refineries. Right along one of the biggest aquifers in the United States that supports 30% of our agriculture and 20 million people who need water. Um, it's also going for Native American lands that's already destroyed First Nation communities up in Canada. I think we've, you know, I think we've fucked over these people enough. Excuse my language for uh, kids. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Youth, what up? So, I mean, I don't, I don't think that they hate us. I just think that they're here doing their job, which is to make sure that we're safe. Yeah. yeah, except the New York police. I'm not talking about New York. I don't know what's going on there. You know, like I'm, I'm seeing the videos and they're walking up and you know, pepper spraying people who are just standing there. And, and, and well, I, it was really incredible. They corralled these girls. And if you see the yeah, film, yeah, with, with that the orange, orange uh, fencing, and there's and that they one guy. Them. Them. Well, it's this one guy. Well, it was that one guy. Yeah, that's true. What I heard is that that one guy's been under investigation for violating people's like human rights or civil rights like back in 2005 for a similar protest. Wow. So he's, he's like a chief, not a chief of police, but he is a, like a cop. He's more than a beat cop. <laughs> yeah. He has he's in some command position. They need to get rid of him. Yeah. Uh, hopefully he's been brought up on some charges. I hope so. Uh, when we, when we did the General Assemblies, the first ones, yeah. you know, on the common, they talked about changing the name of this one to One Christmas Attic Square. Yeah. Bring a bunch of stuff if you guys did. So I wrote down the, these two, the plywood and the stack of poster cards. Yes, yeah, I think that was about. Um, about all that I had. That's good. Okay, great. And, well, uh, there's a bin of uh, spray paint in there too. Okay, right there. Various. Now. Yeah. Can various. You grab it? No, I, it went with all those. Oh, stuff. great. Okay. Thanks. So it's various colors and things that we had around. Great. Yeah. Okay, well, I appreciate that. And we'll be in touch if we need to. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. All right, Joseph, thanks a lot. Luck to you. Great, thanks. Yeah, we'll probably be back. Great, okay. Without the van. <laughs> what? Do we have tape? We should just mark the tops of these with tape and mark. That way we don't have to keep opening them up. But they're all the same thing blankets, blankets, blankets. Yeah. Uh, I'd say just mark the top of the box. Yeah. Maybe do it with a. Is it going to do it with tape? Yeah, right. So we don't have to. Got it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you some Um. Yeah, it's a quick point of information. We do have a Know Your Rights training scheduled for 6 30 today. So I take classes, economics classes, political science, sociology, and anthropology mostly. That's great. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like I got good grades and uh, 
know, I did lots of extracurricular activities. I've made my resume look really good, and, and it's still been really challenging. I'm, I'm hoping I've got this uh, an interview coming up that I like might have a, a, a part-time, just over minimum wage job that might happen temporarily. Uh, but that's sort of where I'm at right now, and um, and it's it's frustrating to to know that like I'm a very employable person and that I, I'm still having this much trouble. And if I'm having this much trouble, how much is somebody who's sort of, you know, a C student or, or you know, who's- Who didn't go to college. Who didn't go to college or whatever is, is, gonna, is gonna have that much more trouble. Um, so that's sort of why I'm here, feeling so like- you there's hope a, to I'm hoping to interact everyone. Thank you.